and a better follow through. He tried to make it simple for Dwight Howard. Jay Crowder's check in for the Mavs and inside Eddie Curry, who's a pretty nice offensive player inside the paint. It's defense where he struggles last year with Miami and a timeout taken with the Lakers by. And then last Thursday, a week ago, the Dallas Mavericks claimed him off waivers. And this, of course, in the wake of the injuries to Dirk Nowitzki and Chris, no possibilities inside the lane offensively. It's the defense where the Mavericks are concerned with his play. Got it, got it, got teams would like. When you look at the Los Angeles Lakers, this is going to be the one question mark all year. Their starting five is arguably the best go to Kobe right after that loss to OKC. And he says, look, I love it, but make the Princeton offense your own. Eddie Curry is a big body, and when you get wow. in its way, you're going to fall like Pau Eddie follows it in. Dallas 73% shooting. In the Starting to fill it out here, Kev. It's Curry again. Too easy. The time that he spent with Spolstra and the coaching staff at Miami. A lot of credit. Absolutely resuscitated his career. Well, they put him on a diet. They made sure he lost all that weight. His conditioning is much better. Is it where he wants to be? No. Uh, uh, he gets lost at the defensive end. But offensively, remember, during his heyday, he was as good as it got down low. Jordan Hill was in, trying to maneuver. A foul called. The notes there on Curry. Carter picked up his third personal foul. Like we said, he was in San Antonio's camp. He was let go. And then when the big men began to fall for Dallas, Nowitzki and Kamen, they signed him. And, 99-91, uh, they beat the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm impressed. Rick Carlisle, he got something out of everyone tonight. His bench players were unbelievable. It's going to be exciting to see, especially when Dirk and Chris comes back, how he incorporates everyone into it.